Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I'm going to talk about the LT spy simulation of class C power amplifier. Okay, so until now we have understood about the LT spy simulation of class A audio amplifier, class B audio amplifier, class AB audio amplifier, and today we are going to learn about the class c power amplifier we will understand how will you design the circuit in lt spice right how will you select the components and then later i'll run the ac analysis and i'll show you the behavior of class c power amplifier right how you can do the acr small signal small signal analysis of class c power amplifier right so let us let us understand first how will you create the class c power amplifier in lt spice okay so you can see here this is very simple circuit i would say right and you can see this is the npn transistor and then this is the r2 which is connected between base and ground and you can see here this is v1 that is the voltage source or small signal and then this you can see here this is the coupling capacitor c1 right and and then you can see this is the lc tank circuit we use in class c power amplifier okay so this is basically a lc tank circuit okay we will understand how will you how will you see the resonance frequency of this lc tank circuit in the simulation i'll show you in ac analysis the resonance frequency of at this lc tank circuit and how will you tune the resonance by changing the value of this l1 and c3 then again you see this is the c2 again the one blocking capacitor and now you see here the load is r3 is 1k and this this is the 12 volt supply i'm giving to to this amplifier okay so if i in a nutshell you can see this is transistor based circuit and you have the small signal which is being applied to the base of this transistor q1 and then you have at the collector of this transistor you have lc tank circuit which creates the resonance of this power amplifier and whatever resonance you want you can create by using this tank circuit by using this l1 and c3 and the frequency for this l1 and c3 is given by resonance frequency equals to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi square root of l1 and c3 that is how you can theoretically calculate the resonance frequency of this power amplifier okay so now now let me, let me run the ac analysis and let me show you the resonance frequency for let me show you the frequency plot gain and phase plot for this this class c power amplifier okay so before i run the the ac analysis you can see here this is the source here and for this simulation purpose i kept here the ac amplitude otherwise it won't work in ac analysis okay now in order to run the ac analysis you have to go at this simulate button okay so this is the simulate button and then you have to click on edit simulation command this is the edit simulation command and this is the ac analysis so for the simulation purpose you can see the type of sweep if you click on it you can see the different options here but for this simulation i am using decade okay and the number of points per decade is thousand and start frequency is 10 hertz and stop frequency is 1 megahertz so for this simulation i have used this parameter you can use as per your design requirement right and then click on okay so i this is the run button click on the run button and maybe you can tile window vertically if you want tile window vertically and let me show you the the frequency response of this class c power amplifier okay now at this point you can see i see there is a resonance of 
resonance of this class C power amplifier. So you can attach the cursor, cursor 1 and you can see the resonance frequency, right? You can see the resonance frequency here. It's around 3.13, right? 3.13 kilohertz. So this is the resonance frequency for this class C amplifier. You can see here it's clearly showing the resonance of your power amplifier, class C power amplifier. And this is 3.1 kilohertz. If you want to play the play with this resonance, simply you need to change the resistance. Uh, sorry, the inductance and this capacitance value. Let me do instead of point instead of one microfarad let us consider 0.1 microfarad and let us see what happens to its resonance now you see at this point your resonance had shifted right so you can see here now your resonance frequency is shifted and it's around 9.79 kilohertz so based on the requirement you can play with the circuit and you can create the resonance let me try another value by 10 microfarad here and let me see what happens here okay so now you can see here you you have the sharp resonance at this point and if you attach the cursor you can see the resonance frequency let me do this for you and now i can see here this one kilohertz so let us say you are you are going to design your class c power amplifier for the frequency of 1 kilohertz your l and c value should be 2.5 milli henry and 10 micro henry okay if you if you tune to your l and c to this value you will have the resonance of around 1 kilohertz you can see and it's very sharp resonance as you see here okay so by playing the value of this l and c let me play here instead of 1.2.5 milli handy let me do it 1 milli handy let me check if the resonance shifting now you can see here your resonance earlier it was it was 1 kilohertz now let me show you here what is happening here okay now you can see your resonance frequency slightly shifted and it's 1.59 five nine kilohertz and apart from the resonance you can see here it's also shifted in the gain so now the gain the gain of this power amplifier class c power amplifier is 98 but if you keep this value to 2.5 milli handy let us see what is the gain now for this point now you can see your gain is around this point is 101.7 okay so if you play with the value of this this inductor you can see there is a change in the gain as well right so guys i hope you have understood how will you design the class c power amplifier in lt spice and how will you tune the resonance frequency for your power amplifier for your class c power amplifier by changing this tank circuit okay now this is called basically a tank circuit and if you alter the value of this tank circuit you see your you, you can see here your resonance is shifting right and you can also design the load value by using this tank circuit for this simulation purpose i used 1k but this this l and c value defines what is the load for your amplifier okay you can calculate the value of load by using this l and c sometimes in the design you might need use to the matching network at the output and in many class c amplifier you can see you might see here the resistance in the emitter okay so thank you for watching this video if you have any further question on class c power amplifier feel free to ask me in comment section i'll be happy to help you and if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe the channel you can also join the premium membership you can also join the mentorship program of this channel thanks once again